as the internet evolves scams evolve and some of us just get unlucky maybe we're not careful or we didn't know we could get scammed that way or we tried to just see the good in another human being and that brings us here today i want to get back to the csgo community and help those that have been scammed first i gotta find people to give skins to so i'm gonna hit up the community service and ask people have you ever been scammed before yeah i lost a pair of specialist fade gloves field tested there's some scammer on discord could i add you toasty sure yeah okay i just bought a pair of specialist gloves today. they are not beautiful by any means, but they are gloves back. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How old were you when you were scammed? I believe 16 turning 17. This was in 2020, exactly July 5th. Do you even remember the date? Because I posted a screenshot of me unboxing the gloves and someone messaged me and he was really nice. That's how it happened? Yeah. Wow. Do you have gloves right now? I do. It was a birthday present. In honor of you. Can you just check your trade offers for me, sir? Oh my. No, 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 I can't. I can't. You're too nice, man. I, I hey. honestly can't. It's... I, you gotta, you gotta take it. I, 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 I'm kind of forcing you to. <laughs> kind of forcing me to? Are, are you 100%? Yes, I, 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 dude, we've been friends true. for nine days, of course. I'm, I'm nine, sure. Nine, nine days, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect this, to be honest. This means a lot to me because I, like, I'm, I'm streaming. I just stream for fun. I just play the game for uh -huh. fun. And I'm going to school for graphic design right now. And like, that's why I kind of veered away from like putting too much money into like games yep. and stuff. What I have, I've built like over, um, the last few years but i i really appreciate that that's accept that trade dude I'm, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> yeah all right all right <laughs> i was just hesitant you know i went back to a stream after like 10 minutes and i heard him talking to his friend got scammed five years ago for the skin and yeah he gave me back uh specialist fake gloves oh what a nice guy yeah it was huge honestly i'm just like can't get a smile off my face it's, it's kind of funny please go check out his twitch he's been grinding 12 hour streams a day his name is na underscore toasty or you guys can find his link down in the description below or for my fuel injector ak how are you scammed and like what were you scammed for ak-47 fuel injector you can say like 35 bucks but in mexico it's 800 pesos it was a big thing for me that was my only skin this guy was like oh my god your skin is it's beautiful and stuff like that and he added me he was cool he was cool for real <laughs> he was cool and then he scanned me he was like oh my god let's play he was also good at the game so yeah i was uh, like yeah damn. did that affect you even more when you got scammed because you knew him more personally uh yeah and how did you feel it after? was um like like a dumbass <laughs> well dude check your trade offers there is a 100 dollars ak fuel injector oh shit bro <laughs> what for real i'm getting like good flashbacks you know dude thank you so much for real wait let me see in <laughs> let me see it in game oh shit it's still a good ak like still today it's uh i think it's a beautiful ak oh my god thank you so much for real you're finna get like a lot of mexicans now <laughs> I'm not you're finna have like people in your comments talking spanish i can't even afford something like that in pesos this skin you just gave me is a thousand and eight hundred pesos bro i'm gonna keep it for real i'm and i'm never trading again i'm never doing paypal again have you ever been scammed before yeah i mean look, yeah i have to be honest with you and i was about to sell my knife to uh, pay rent <laughs> they took my knife and I could have fucking wanted my rent. It was an M9 tiger tooth or a Karambit tiger tooth? Looking at a Karambit tiger tooth, um, is kind of sketch. Oh, one point. Okay, that's not in the budget, guys. Okay, let's be real here. That goes for over a thousand dollars. So I could only buy the Navaja knife tiger tooth. How new were you to see us when you got scammed? I actually wasn't new at all. I was probably playing in about 10 years at that point. It was a Karambit lore field tested. I remember now. I said a tiger too, then I thought about it. I was like, oh, uh, it was a, uh, it was a lore. I just remember. That's even worse. You got. Yeah. It was almost like a social engineering thing to where. What? <laughs> what? I was really into ESEA. I was grinding ESEA out. And if you go on Google Chrome, and this is actually why I don't use Google Chrome anymore. Anytime you search something google puts an ad at the top and so basically what the scammers did was they made an identical website to esea and they submitted it as the ad so anytime you search that that's the link you got it's like oh you're not signed in sign into steam which that's where i should have caught it because you don't sign into steam when you play esea so i signed in that removed the two-factor authentication and i remember it was like six in the morning so i'm like tired as fuck woke up the next morning look in the inventory and it sucks because i got like kicked out of my parents house <gasps> so i was about to use that to pay no rent. Way. Yeah, dude, i was like i believe it was 
two days after Christmas as well. That's <laughs> so you got double. Oh my, you got triple fuck. Yeah. yeah yep. The actual video was giving back people scam skins. So if you check your trade offer, there should be a tiger tooth knife. Ooh, for you. Holy shit. Are you being serious? Yeah, dude. Thank you. I. Wow, man. You fucking surprised my ass. Holy shit. Thank you so fucking much. Holy fuck. Went you just through. made my. <laughs> <laughs> You just fucking made my night, sir. Holy fuck. Thank you so much. Like, I don't... Mm -hmm. What do I do? <laughs> that knife, is, do that knife is all yours. You can do whatever you want with it. You can trade it. You can sell it. You can, um... Oh, fuck no. I'm keeping it. this shit. <laughs> this is my fucking knife. Well, I mean, I, I really fucking appreciate it. I, I don't know. I I just feel really happy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, is that, that's it? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it, man. That's get a free knife? Hey, man. You know what? I gotta go sub and start watching your videos. I gotta... Completely different story for you. <laughs> Why is it that high? I, I would probably say 20, 30 grand this case is. How new to CS were you when you got scammed? Like a year or so in. Like I, you know, would play a couple of times a week at most. I had a few close friends at the time that I would play with. Because I was just, you know, sober having fun with friends. One day I just randomly got a friend request. Didn't really think too much of it. Like a week or so later, that guy changed his profile to one of the people I would constantly queue with. And just oh. sent me an offer saying like, hey, can I borrow this? Damn. And that was it. I was young. That was like devastating, man. That was like my my Christmas present. Do you wish you still had that knife? Um, I mean, yeah. I think like being the first knife, it, it'd be cool to have still. I'm gonna ask you for one more favor. Yeah. Could you just check your, your trade offer for me? Bro, no, man, you don't have to. You take it, you can't spend it on the hobby though. You gotta, you gotta keep I'm it. I'm not, I'll, I'll keep it in my inventory, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. You really don't have to though. I should have left a note saying, can I borrow this? <laughs> so far. <laughs> well, I realized when I played with him, he didn't have it. That's how I found out. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, I didn't even find, like, I, I didn't even look into it. He was like, you know, can I borrow this one? You know, I stepped off her and get on the next day. Well, now you can, like, in your mind, replace it. So I think at the time it was like 80. So. Yeah. You got a nice little 2x investment. Someone recently got scammed for $100,000. So it's just not people with like $100 that are getting scammed. It's also the big dogs. And if you want to stay up to date with all future scams, it's just you wait because I have a new website coming out called CS2 Alert. The website will be launching in a few weeks. So keep an eye out for that. If you have ever been scammed before and want to share your story with me, leave it down in the comments below because I'll be reading all the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then you'll, you'll love this video right here.